Okay, we are at the Goodwill Bins in Minnesota, St. Paul, Minneapolis. And we are going to see what we can find at a bins we have never been to before. Oh, there's no sidewalk. Um, I'm not sure the pricing it is probably different because it's by region, but we will go in and see what we can find. It looks like a massive building, but I don't know if it's all for bins, bins things, but let's go in, dig through a bunch of bins, see if we can find the goods, see what kind of treasure we can find in Minnesota. Oh, we've only got one cart. We're gonna have to share. It's looking extra spicy in here. It's actually not huge. It's pretty small, if we're being honest. Well, compared to what I'm used to. Okay, here's the pricing. So over 25 pounds, $1.99. Glass, 59 cents a piece. Electronics, $1.49 each item. Books, 59. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go and see what kind of things we can get. Nothing good though. They wanted twelve ninety nine for the rock ports at regular Goodwill. Maurice's. Ashford Hayes. Those are nice shoes. I don't know if they're worth it. Heavy duty. Oh, they're Doc Martens. Let's we'll see if I can find the other one.
Here's that other Macbeth. Maybe I should look that up. Another Echo or Eco. What is this? This looks fancy. Moccasins. Billabong. From the outside, this place looks huge, massive, massive, huge, but it looks like it's just a small part of um, the building it's in. Made in Italy. Half the size of the bins I usually go to. Oh, oh sure. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Throwing stuff on the floor. <laughs> I know. Good. How are you? <laughs> it is annoying, though. I do agree. When there's stuff all over the floor. Alrighty. Okay. Still looking for this map. come back if it's still around. But that was a good one. What are these? Esprit. Stone Mountain. That's a decent brand.
Sigrid Olsen. Car or Charter Club. Nineteen sixty nine gap jeans. Looks like a decent like vintage gap hobo, but it's pretty dirty. Latino. This does not feel good. It's Morona. Nuts. Mm, that's a good brand. Jumping jacks. Just a no name. Duran Duran, future past, made in China. Holy Moses, this is Darmella. That is a lot of palms, just palmin common all over. I'll see about that. It's kind of a cute Vera Bradley. A little compact one. Dooney and Burke. Maybe a fake seize? No. Yes. I think it's a fake seize. Simply Vera, that's from Coles. This looks like a nice booty. White House Black Market. Little suede and smooth leather booty. These are cute. Those are cute. Not rated. That's a cute little boot, too. That's also adorable. Oh, here's that other thin one. Dump off some of my goods and then start searching elsewhere. Okay. <laughs> Rosetti. Uh, my sister just picked this up, but it is in very, very rough condition and it, I don't think it's fake, but it's in really bad shape. Really, really bad shape. What is this? Ziera, love your feet. Huh. I might look up that one if I can find the other one. Jack Rogers. That might be good. Let's put it in a little pile with this one.
it looks like there's some like breakables, but it looks like mostly um, clothing and shoes. This looks like a nice raw leather bag. That is nice. Get that one. Marona. Nine West. I kind of want to find this Jack Rogers. I don't know if it's good or not, but here's a Birkenstock. Oh, here's the other one. They're pretty well worn, though. Madden Girl. Arizona jeans. Okay. I think I'm gonna move on. There's a lot of shoes. Oh, here. It's the other one. Got it. Watch. Jack Rogers is like $5, but I'll look it up in a minute. coach oh she found a coach I don't know if these are good but I'm putting this stuff in my hand Brand I cannot pronounce. That's kind of cute. It is Shiroia. So they close in, I don't know, three or three hours or so, but they're only doing one more switch out, they said. And then they are done for the day. This is Radley London. That's a good brand. It's a little sad, but that's okay. Okay. Let's go look at some random other bins. We've got a cart full of purses so far and a few shoes. Um, let's go over here. What 
are you? Oh, yeah. Probably a good idea. Vertigo Paris. That looks like a nice coat. I'll look it up. I'll take a little peek. Ooh, what's this? 2003. Open. Hmm, I'm not sure. a lot of mushy mashy Oh, he turns into a baseball? Hmm, I'll think about that one too. Isaac Mizrahi. Oh, a diaper bag. Oh, look at this cat puzzle. I kind of love it. Hungry hippos. Got that. Got that. I'm 
massive dollhouse. Super mall. Red wings, those are good. Oh, there's the other red wing. go look at a few clothings. I will be back. These type of jackets I think are popular. Put it in there. 
look it up later. It's kind of a nice blanket, actually. Nice quilt. Levi's boot. It's kind of a nice Nike. It looks like a fake. I don't know. Feels weird. Navy. Oh, did you find things? Tag. I've never seen a tag like that for free people. It is very fun. Is this a real long shop? Hmm, it might be actually. It's a little sad, but it has the tag thingy. Where is it? says long shop something so I think that's real we shall see brush mark Urban expressions. It says the comfy on the sleeve. I don't know if that's the brand. Casual corner. Dress barn. Okay, 
let's go down another aisle. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. A vintage kid's snowsuit from Sears with a little strawberry print. Oh. That's amazing. This is a very puffy Zara. I'm gonna leave that though. I got to compact all this and bring it home. Well, not all of it, but whatever I want to keep, I have to bring home a Game Boy game. Here's the glasses in there. Mm, I'll see if my sister wants that. I don't think we need all the glasses though. It's pretty dirty, but oh well, I'll see. are like packed in here. Ooh, the navy. Oh Adriana Goldschmied's a good brand. Or at least you can get probably 20 bucks out of them. Tommy. Prana. Size 14. That's a good size. And these don't look like they've been worn. Okay. That's a nice Columbia. It's a really nice Columbia. It has little marks on it. But that is pretty decent. Venus. Blankets in here. 
American Eagle. What size are you? Eight. Hmm. This one has a lot of nasty on it, but what? Nina Leonard. Uh, oh look, Lena. Nina, Lena, up. Double stitched. That doesn't mean it's not vintage, but probably it's not. Abercrombie, size six. Arizona jeans. Okay. Let's go over here. People are starting to clear out because they're done with the bin switching for today. I wonder if all these people are still here. I mean, I assume they are. There's a weird McDonald's Easy Bake thing back there, but I don't know if I can get it. <gasps> I need something. Hannah Anderson. That's a nice sweater. Hmm. Okay, I need like a stick, which I don't have. Are you old? It's made in 2000. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try to grab this cover. Okay, I got it. I don't know what's in here though. <laughs> One tiny little thing. Okay, what is it? A few of the food packets. What do you even make? McDonald's pie set? Ew, that pie looks suspicious. Not gonna lie. But I'm curious, so I'm gonna set this aside. See if I can figure out some more on that. Monster finisher. I don't really want this, but I'll see if my sister does. What are these? American Eagle. These look like a decent- oh, they ripped their crotch. I'm telling you people, you gotta check that crotch. Fun. King size. Ooh, that looks fun. What are you? Oh, a pillow sham, it looks like. Free people pants. Those are kind of fun.
Claire. Okay, I'm gonna look a few things up, probably go through a few more clothes bins, and I will be back. Okay, here is our combined cart of what we ended up with. A little bit of everything. There wasn't a lot of breakables, really. And if there was, they were like mixed in with everything. They didn't have like separate breakable bins. So it was a little interesting. And they closed in two hours and they stopped switching out the bins and they started pulling bins and they still have two hours. So it was a little strange, but um, just going to show you this is what we got as two people. And this is our cart. Um, I forget what their pricing is. So, zero to um, 10 pounds is 249. And then 10 to 24 is 229. And then 25 and up is 199. So, I think we got 25 because we have some like heavy purses in here. But we'll see when we check out what we ended up with. But let me just go through everything and show you all what we got. Is that yours over there? Yes. Okay. If you need it though, you can use it. I can. Still one in it. And it just, oh yeah, they'll take them sometimes. But yes, we're not using it. You can have it. Oh, I appreciate that. Yes, no problem. <laughs> okay, first is a pair of BKE jeans. These are size 27 by 31 and a half. These are sold at Buckle, I'm pretty sure. Um, nice jeans, nice pattern. Um, let me go up here. This is just a vintage, I don't know if it's a handbag or maybe a makeup case. I don't see a brand on it, but um, if it's given a little like rub it should be good to go but it's really cool it has like the gucci kind of look to it okay also look at this vintage easy bake mcdonald's it's supposed to be apple cinnamon but it's looking suspicious if you ask me um but i'm pretty sure i have to get this there's like a few food packets in there, but yes, I have to. Um, Relic backpack. Relic is a subset of fossil. Next is a Gubrin, or sorry, Gurin Bros. I've had one other hat, and they have like quirky sayings on them and whatnot, but obviously this one says nuts, and there's a squirrel, but they sell pretty decent. Next is a palm bag by Star Mella, and there's just like little palms all over, just all over the place. It's pretty amazing, to be honest. Pretty darn amazing. Okay, next a pair of woven leather loafers by Eco Echo, size 44 men's got those. Next is a coach. Um, I think it might be a vintage. This big cowhide leather. Maybe. She'll have to look it up. My sister found it. Um, but there's the number. It looks like it's possibly vintage real nice. Okay, next a vintage REI backpack. These do really well as well. A little picking on the back, but not too bad. Um, another coach. There is the Creed inside. Uh, this one has this little bit of um, piping that's coming out, but I mean for what? Two bucks? Might as well. Might as well. Next, this is a no name. It's just a raw leather backpack. I kind of love it. 
and I might be able to find something if I do a Google image search, but I will look into that a little more. It's like a mini backpack. Next is a jo Jack Rogers, like metallic-y thread, taupe, beige, and silver. These are size nine and a half. I think I've picked up sandals before, but not sneakers. And the sandals do okay, but it looks like the sneakers do a bit better. Next, I'm just gonna call them EA. Handbag, really good shape. Not a lot of wear on it. And it's an easy wipe material. But nice handbag. Radley London, like a beigey taupe. They have the signature little Scotty dog on their bags, wallets and whatnot. Somewhere, but still worth getting. Next, a Vertigo Paris size medium coat. This is really nice too. Really good shape. And the waist ties there. Next is Hartwell Sports Vintage Jacket Alexandria Basketball Lakes Area Recreation. Nice graphic on it. Um, made in USA. But yeah, button down. And it belonged to Trent. I'm having a collapse here. Okay. Next is free people size medium, I assume kids? No, this is probably an adult. But I've never seen a free people label like this before. But really fun, colorful, free people hoodie. So that's fun. Next, I'm pretty darn sure this is a authentic Longchamp. I found one at a regular Goodwill a few days ago, and I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but I'll look into it more. It's probably like 50 cents, so. Next, a Betsy Clark photo album. Hallmark 1973, made in USA, vintage. I'm pretty sure we had this growing up. So it's kind of nostalgic as well. This is for a friend. Next, a pink bra size, 32B. Got a decent amount of denim. Um, Adriana Goldschmied, the protege straight leg, size 40 by 32, made in USA, and it is in pretty, there's a little wear on the hems, but not too bad. Next, Prana, nice size, 40, or 14 by 32, I've never found Prana jeans, but it's a really good size. And they're in really good shape, so definitely getting of that. Next is a Looney Tunes, nice graphic t-shirt with a bunch of the characters on it. I'm not sure if it's vintage or not, but it is a good size, a 3XL. Just needs a little washy wash. Next is a pair of Abercrombie and Fitch button-down fly, size 6, regular, jeans. These might be vintage as well. Um, and the hems are in really good shape too. Oh jeez, throwing it out of the cart. Next is a vintage Winnie the Pooh kids dress size 18M has a really cute embroidered poo and piglet on there 
adorable. Last for clothing is a pair of free people, kind of wide leg, flowy pants. I'm not sure what size they are, but here is the, oh, there it is, a medium. They're like a little polka dot, nice lightweight pant. Next is a relic subset of fossil top handle bag. Not bad. Okay, and last is this Fisher Price vintage piano. I don't know what you do there, but it does work. It's pretty amazing. Oh, and this must turn to show you other Oh, the muffin man, this old man, that's cool. So yes, this is what we ended up with, a nice little pile at bins number one in Minneapolis, Minnesota. We'll be going to two, three more trips. So stay tuned for what else we find in Minneapolis. I'm not sure how much we've spent, but I'm hoping it's 25 pounds so we get it for 99 cents a pound. But um, stay tuned for more videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up. Look at these gloves. Amazing. Amazing. Anyways, if you could give this video a thumbs up, it really helps the algorithms and helps other people find these videos. And I can keep making them for you. So until the next dig, I'll see you later. Bye.